Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 21st to the 27th of February. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Leo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Six of Wands, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups in reverse, okay? So Leo, your challenge here has a lot to do with the Six of Wands. I feel like for many of you, you are experiencing some sort of major success in your life, okay? Major success, um, things are going great for you. Some of you have a lot of people looking up to you. I'm also getting with the Six of Wands, you may find it very challenging being successful, okay? Um, attracting the right people, you know, the right people that are genuine towards you. We're gonna clarify and see why the Six of Wands is your challenge um, and see what your important message is here for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups. I feel like you disconnected from someone here in the recent past. Um, the reason why you disconnected from this person was because maybe there was some sort of emotional turmoil that happened between you and them. I am getting that there was maybe um, some sort of third party situation. Now, that isn't for everyone, but there's something here that happened in your connection that really affected the quality of your relationship and a lot of you may have felt at that point it was time for you to disconnect from the relationship and work on yourself we're going to clarify and get more information about that in a moment now in the present moment you have the three of cups the temperance and the two of pentacles i feel like in the present moment there's an opportunity for you and this person to um, reconcile come back together it has been very slow moving um, I do feel that the reason why this person wants to come back around is because they do feel very strongly connected to, especially with the temperance here. Um, however, there is a decision that has to be made about maybe this reconciliation if you're open to it and what it means for this relationship moving forward. Now, in the near future, you have the Emperor, the Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Very strong connection here in the near future. I do feel someone's going to be offering you love. Um, whoever this person is that's offering you love, they want to have a new beginning with you. They're very passionate about you. And it looks like it's going to lead to a lot of stability for you. Okay. Um, so we're going to clarify and get more information for you about that in a moment. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the nine of cups, four of pentacles, seven of swords, high priestess, five of pentacles and the six of pentacles in reverse. So what you don't see coming is the fact that a lot of you are going to find something out. Okay. Or you have found something out about someone that you were very much connected to. I feel like this person who you found things out about wasn't, they weren't really honest. They were somebody here that you were holding on to. Um, but when you found out some sort of truth, uh, about them, you started to find that you were very dissatisfaction, uh, dis dissatisfied. Now, what you don't see coming is this person is eventually going to come back around. And for many of you, that's happening in the present moment. Um, and even though you're not 100% sure on how you should move forward with this person, a lot of you are going to receive maybe some sort of downloads from higher self, but you have to be tapped into it. Because the high priestess is here in reverse, it's telling me a lot of you haven't um, been able to tap into your subconscious mind there's things that you can do to tap into your subconscious mind you can find tons of information online on how to do that um so what you don't see coming is is that someone is eventually going to come back around someone here that maybe you found something out about you don't completely trust this person but they're coming back around for a specific reason and it could be because they want to reconcile and maybe work on things with you okay so let's um get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you So the first card I'm going to clarify for you, Leo, is your challenge. Okay. 
Okay, so your challenge Six of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Justice in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles. So for many of you right now, I'm really strongly getting that you experienced something in your life that wasn't fair. There was a lot of injustice that happened um, surrounding some sort of situation in your life. And I feel like because you went off on your own and you started to work on yourself, you started to focus um, on your success, for many of you, new opportunities are coming in. That's your biggest challenge, right? It's like, who do I trust? Who should I be open to? What opportunities should I be open to? So for many of you, your biggest challenge has a lot to do with not allowing something in the past that didn't work out for you to affect new opportunities that are coming into your life, okay? Because for many of you, um, your biggest challenge is, is that you're this horse. And if you look at the horse, often these horses have blinders, okay? The blinders are like this. And you know when a horse is you know, walking around they have blinders and they can't really see everything around them. So even though you're really successful, even though things are going in your favor, um, there's going to be new opportunities that come into your life that you may miss because you're so focused on your success. And you may also be very closed off because of certain um, situations or scenarios that happened in your life in the past that really led to a lot of dissat dissatisfaction. But Spirit is saying don't allow those past traumas to affect your ability to accept new offers that are coming in. Okay, so that's your challenge. That's what I'm seeing. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the five of cups. So the five of cups is clarified by the devil. You have the judgment and the nine of swords. Somebody here in the recent past created a lot of anxiety and fear within this connection. There was a lot of casual energy here. So I'm seeing friends with benefits, you know, just, I see you dating someone who's just like, yeah, let's just see how things go. Let's not commit. Let's just, you know, and I'm getting someone here wasn't honest, like someone was cheating or lying. Um, and as a result of that, you kind of, you left, you disconnected. And you know, the thing is Leo, you disconnected from this, this situation in the past because because a lot of you forgot um, how to love yourself. You forgot how to work on yourself. You forgot what truly, really mattered to you because you got very overwhelmed in this relationship. You may have even given this person like your heart and your soul and then, you know, things crumbled. So I feel like in the past, there was a very big lesson here that you learned about giving yourself maybe to somebody completely without them really giving completely back to you, okay? But that's what led you into the Nine of Pentacles energy and that's why your challenge here is the Six of Wands. Because even though you became very successful, you had to go through something that was very traumatizing to even get there, okay? So this is what I see happen for you in the past. Now, in the present moment, you have a decision to make about whether or not you're ready to maybe move forward towards something here. Tell me more about the Three of Cups in the present moment for Leo. So the three of cups is clarified by the two of wands, the king of pentacles and the four of swords. Somebody here is showing up in the present moment, earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm also getting another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, could be a cancer or a Gemini, okay? Who's showing up in the present moment. Whoever this person is, they're still very much in love with you. They want stability with you. They're somebody who has really been thinking long and hard since they've been in separation with you. I'm also getting whoever this person is that is coming into your life for some of you. And there's two stories here. It's not just one story some of you are meeting someone here who can bring a lot of stability into your life and you may need to decide if this is someone who want, who you want to move forward with this is also somebody who's able to help you heal from some sort of past trauma that you experienced tell me more about the two of pentacles what is this decision here that has to be made for leo in the present moment Okay, so the Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Star. A lot of you have to decide whether or not this is someone you want to take with you moving forward. Um, I do sense here, Leo, you're very successful. There's something here about you being extremely successful and you have to be careful not to allow your success to blind you, okay? Because for many of you, you know, the success has a lot to do with, you know, if you're going to even be able to make room for this person in your life. Are you able to make room for them? Are you able to sacrifice this success? And only time is going to tell because the temperance is here. Only time is going to tell. But I'm also getting in the present moment that a lot of you need to decide if this is someone you want to have a future with. 
Is this someone that you see yourself moving into the future with completely? Okay. And I still feel like a decision has to be made about that, but it looks like this person, whoever this person is, they're very stable. There's someone who can really offer you what you need and want is what I'm seeing. Now in the near future, I do see somebody here making a confession, like someone here's letting you know, look, I really care about you. I really love you. Queen of cups energy here, um, coming in towards you. So we're going to see what this person, you know, what, what energy is this person going to be in, um, moving forward. Now there is a new beginning that's coming in for you. Tell me more about this new beginning for Leo. So the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Five of Wands, the Fool, and the King of Wands. So for many of you in the near future, I am strongly seeing that you are going to have a new beginning, okay? But one of the things that you have to be prepared for is, is that although there is a new beginning coming into your life, it's not going to be an easy new beginning, okay? I do see conflict here. I do see some sort of struggle here. But if you're able to completely get through this conflict, these opposing forces, it really looks like you're going to have an opportunity to move forward. And one of the things I want to say is, is that even though there's conflict, conflict in the near future. It's conflict that's happening to prepare you for this new beginning. Nothing in life is easy. Okay. There's going to be challenges along the way, but if you're able to overcome these challenges, I see you being able to connect with this person. Okay. Water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me more about the uh, queen of cups here in the near future for Leo. So the Queen of Cups is clarified by, you have the Nine of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Moon. Somebody here who's been concealing things from you, who, haven't, who hasn't really been honest, and I think that's where there's a conflict in the near future because even though this person wants to have a new beginning with you and you want to have this new beginning, you're still not over something that happened between you and them. You, you're still, it's like this person comes back around. They're like, look, I'm here because I want to try again with you. I love you. I want to be with you. Um, and this is somebody who this happens, by the way, around the full moon. Okay. Closer five days after the full moon, because you are having a full moon in Leo. Um, so I'm really strongly getting with the two of cups here. This person wants to be with you. They want to have a relationship with you. And for many of you, this person is they may still come across as concealing things from you, but they still want to be with you. And that's why there's a conflict. And I feel like you may be the one to start the conflict because it's like you want this person to admit. You want this person to say, yeah, I want to be with you, Leo. Yeah, I want this. Yeah. like, And you want to see them make an effort because in the past they didn't make an effort. Okay. So in the near future, there's a possibility for stability. There's a possibility for reconciliation and their opportunity is there, but you may miss the opportunity because you can't seem to get over something that happened between you and this person in the past. There's either a lack of forgiveness or a lack of finding solution to the issue that happened at hand between you and them. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing now. Let's get some advice. What is the advice? The advice is the seven of wands, the wheel of fortune and the empress in order for you to achieve what it is that you want. Okay. Whether it's you being in a successful relationship, you achieving success, whatever it is, the more you push away the opportunities, Leo, the more you are stuck in this place of going back to the past. Um, you know, it's, I have to be honest with you, Leo, there's something here, but you constantly going to the past. Yeah. But this happened. Yeah. But that happened. Yeah. But what about when you did this? What about when you did that? All that does is it helps you to lose the opportunities that are at hand for you. Look at this person. The seven of wands is someone who's pushing all the opportunities away, all the experiences. It's like, no, I don't want to deal with this. No, I don't want to deal with this. But it's, there's something here you need to confront. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to confront something head on. Um, and the quicker you deal with the situation or the quicker you're open to dealing with the situation, the quicker you can take advantage of these opportunities that are coming in. The Empress is about growth. And growth doesn't happen, Leo, unless we confront things. The more we run, run away from issues, the more we avoid issues, the more we blame other people, the more likely we're going to miss these opportunities. A lot of you may watch this reading and not agree with me. You may not like the reading. But the truth here is, is that spirit is saying the opportunities are there. Are you open to them? Are you open to resolving things that maybe happened in the past? Are you open to confronting things? And if you are, that's what's going to lead to your success. And that's what's going to lead to the opportunities 
that are there for you, okay? So Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.